Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway 2022 Red Rosie. Now, from the packaging, you can tell this is a serious model. The presentation on this engine just looks so professional, and it's something that turns this, you know, like I've said in previous videos, turns it from just a model train into an experience, and this was an experience, and a positive one at that. It's very premier, very premium feeling as well. And out of the packaging, it doesn't stop there. Look at the detail on this engine. From the crisp printing of the NWR and 37, to part of the piston printing, the stepladder printing, the firebox glow printed on the side, everything about this just screams wonderful detail. You can see the wheels there as well. I wish that they had been the same dark red, but I kind of get it. I think they were different in the show too. Um, here's the front of the engine. You'll see the buffer detailing there, the face detail, and they've added the blush, which you could just say where, you know, she's been working hard in the yard shunting trucks and things like that. Or you could see it as she still has her makeup from the classic series. Either way, beautiful engine. On this side, it's the same way, and a lot of the people were complaining about the wheels. I actually like the printing on the wheels, and I like them better in person. I don't think they look as bad in person. You also see on the roof, that's a raised plastic piece, so there is a little bit of red and then the black printing on top. Here's the back of the engine, kind of plain, but that's okay. And here's the top of the engine. You'll see where I was talking about that separately raised piece, uh, the domes, the funnel, everything there just looks absolutely spectacular. Boiler bands, it's awesome. And then here's the bottom of the engine. You'll see there where it has your name printed, a little steam cloud, and of course the code there. And that is a piece of wood as well. Now here's a comparison between her most recent iteration from Thomas Wood, so Thomas Wood Rosie, and you can see there are some major differences here. Though I don't feel that Thomas Wood did a bad job on Rosie, I thought that that was actually one of their better models. However, I prefer the one on the right. The one on the right just knocks it out of the park. Details just so much better and I, I love it. On the back, you can also see that the Thomas Wood version is actually just a slightly bit taller, but that's because the Wooden Railway version 2022 has that raised plastic piece, so they come in about the same height if you're measuring from that piece. Um, for the tops of the engine, you'll see the Wood version actually had the printed whistle. The 2022 version does not, but that's something I'm not too, you know, aggravated about. I mean, hey, we got everything else. <laughs> and here's the bottom of the engines. You'll see there, nice comparison. And then this engine also works with old wooden railway items as well, so you can connect this to old rolling stock and use it with your existing wooden railway collection. As for final thoughts on this engine, guys, I have to tell you, just like Percy and all of the engines in this range, I adore this. This is a piece of Thomas and Friends history, and so even if you don't collect one railway, if you just collect Thomas, go out and get you just one of these models. Even if it's not rosy, you know, get Thomas if you want to, but just to have this in your collection, because with that being said, I love this engine. I think it's awesome, as I do, as I feel for all of the Thomas 2022 wooden railway. And I highly, highly recommend, if you see this online or in-store for a good price, pick it up, because this is beautiful. Um, also to note, she also works with most wooden railway brands, including uh, Brio, Zany Trains, Big Jigs Rail, all of those. So it's a great item to put into your existing collection and run those alongside your regular wooden railway as well. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.